He was in 32 at the time, right across from me. I just got done talking to my mom on the phone, and I witnessed the COs going into his room, pushing him up against the wall, handcuffing his hands behind his back, slamming him down onto the ground, and kicking him. And then after that was done, he was they kept on saying, do not resist, and he wasn't resisting at all. He was laying there. And they picked him up, started carrying him down the stairs, took him into cell one, and did it again. I told the COs that I'm going to be his witness no matter what because it's messed up what they did. Wow, that's crazy. They do that to a lot of people, and they think they can get away with it, and they can't. That's crazy. It needs to be stopped. Mm. We're people, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, One of the days we're going to end up going home, so it's like they need to give us the respect that we give them. I mean, like, what happened to, you know, like, basic human rights? You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, at least treat somebody with dignity. Exactly. You want respect, you respect them back. Yeah, and, like, you know, he said that, um, he said that they made him, like, wipe his own blood with his, yes. with his thermals. Um, and then he said he never saw his thermals again, but, uh, no, he, he never did because once, uh, you get blood on them, they throw it away. Yeah. And I think, um, when he released his property, um, I think they gave like, I, cause I picked up his property and I only picked up the, like the shirt. He said the pants had like all the blood on it and I guess they took it. Yes. They took everything out of his cell pictures down everything and they put it all on like a little sheet drag it off to the side of the um right next to cell 26 like by the windows and just left it right there yeah, I'm just, and then that's when they did all that to him and then brought him down to cell one and then they like they beat him again yes i mean he looked he, he wasn't even moving i thought his arms were broken when they were dragging him down the stairs then, so they dragged him down the stairs? They were pulling and lifting him up, and he was just, like, he looked like he wasn't even breathing at all. It just looked like he was just knocked out. Oh, my God. I mean, I felt so bad for him. I was, like, trying to help. I was sitting there screaming at them. Wow. And it's like, it could happen to anybody. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the scary part. Yeah, I know, and I, sh I don't have much time in the, this jail and everything, and I'm scared it might happen to me. Yeah, like he said, he said he didn't do anything. They just, like, he said they kept yelling, like, stop resisting. And he said he wasn't even moving. Yeah. Like, he, he was scared for his life. Pretty much, he asked for the phone, and they weren't going to give him the phone. So, and then his toilet started overflowing. They thought he was flooding the toilet. So they took all his stuff out, turned off the faucet, uh, turned off the water and everything, and did all that to him. Yeah. So were, were you able to see, like, blood when, like, all the blood? Yes. I, I was seeing it drip off his face oh when they were dragging God. him down the stairs. And then he said they took pictures of him? Like... And so one after they did it again. Yeah, so after they did it again, they took pictures of him? Yes. Do, do you know what they do with the pictures? Like, is it for... No, I don't. Is it for them? The only thing I know is the... Once uh, they get... This, they do, like, this uh, DDU type thing. I don't know what that means. When... I guess when you get in trouble again, they take you to court, like, for a street charge for some reason. And I try to stay away from getting in trouble here. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to get, like, beat up. Yeah. 